All right, so I feel like I should make a prediction about these two devil fruits and what ends up happening with them. Before we get started, really quickly, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. My name is Jack the Buster, I Shinobi. We have episodes 267 and 268 of our One Piece watch through today. Now, I feel like it, it can't go completely the way, and I've been saying Pandam for a bit, it's Spandam. I feel like it can't go exactly the way Spandam wants it to, so I feel like one devil fruit has to end up in the hands of somebody on our side. I don't know if Luchi will get his hands on it. I don't even know if you can can you have two devil fruit powers i don't i don't think they can like stack like that i feel like you just get one and that's it but if not luchi then i i don't know maybe somebody else in cp9 maybe spandam i'm honestly kind of shocked that spandam wouldn't considering he's very weak i mean even khalifa confirmed that but nonetheless we're gonna hop into it see the chaos that unfolds in these episodes if you're new to the channel drop a sub and hit that big boy bell and let's get started <laughs> Why years? Uh, oh, he wants to be stricter. Oh, dang. See, I feel like that's kind of just how the Navy is, though. I feel like they've always been like that. Don't you talk about Tom like that, you bastard. He's 20 times the man you'll ever be. You're shameless, bro. I don't know Frankie want to put him in the dirt so bad. Oh, no. He just bit him. Oh, my God. Wait, why, are not, why is nobody doing anything? Are they sick of spam them? Oh, this guy is quite the character. I know he's really strong, though, so it, it, it's okay. Kind of. Oh, what is this? Oh, it was just more theatrics. Dude, he's cool. Oh my god. Dude, he just doesn't act like like just this higher up that he is. Spend them. Oh, we know where Luffy is. Just in, it's in the midst of battle. Everybody. Gum gum everything! Hell yeah, Luffy. Let's go, baby. It's almost too easy, and I hate it. But I know he's, like I said, it's going to be a brick wall when he gets to CP9. These are just random Navy men. No, he's in the ceiling right now. Oh, no, he's okay. Oh. Maybe that's actually a big plot point that he that isn't getting worried about everything going on. Just shoot down into the ground. Volcano? Oh, I get it because... Oh, okay. That's kind of cool, actually. Luffy's getting kind of creative with these. <laughs> Please, sir, help! Bro, he's unstoppable. Oh. Chief Joe. What is that? Three-headed Baskerville? A three-headed man? Chief Baskerville? Central Freeway? Is this Luffy's obstacle? So is he on the same level as Spandam? They all have like different lines of thought. Why don't we make him not go? Yeah, they're like very different lines of thought. And then he's straight down the middle. That's not straight down the middle. Kashi was one of the giants, right? Yeah, Oimo and Kashi. Okay. But that wasn't even Luffy. 100 watchdogs? Who's a watchdog? Dude, when's the rest of the crew gonna get involved, man? A path for the rocket man. Yeah, that's what we've been waiting on. Let's go! Dude, how did that giant even get up? Wasn't that the one that was nailed down? No, the other was nailed down. Dude, Polly's just talented. Exactly. This is just the rope. Why did they name the Batman Sodom and Gamora? I know it's biblical. It's just so funny. Was this giant gonna throw up? I gotta have the goal to say, please stop. I'm dizzy. Are oh, they gonna be like, oh, okay, got you? Oh, they think it's Oimo opening it. Let's go, charge through, baby. Hell yeah. Okay, so now there should be a path, right? It's gonna go full charge right into any sloppy, I think. Oh my gosh. 
You better dodge or something, boys. It is not going to stop. And Zoro's is going to cut right through it as they're about to hit it. I don't even know if he needs... I guess it's a giant iron fence. Yeah, I guess he would need to. He's doing a little bit of meditating right before their entrance. He's ready. He's locked in. Zeroed in. Finally, the rest of the crew gets to make a grand entrance. I love how they're all together on uh, Rocket Men. We're closing it. I don't think that's going to stop this Rocket Man from, <laughs> from going through. That's yeah, I thought that's what they were doing, was just having to go as fast as they can. Just, I mean, they're going to they're gonna have to get it on land either way. I love how she goes over the intercom like it's just like a subway car or something. Oh, no. Oh, my. They got to get through the door. Yeah, you need enough force to get through. Got to crash through the gate, not into. There's always a way. With sheer force. They don't realize that him saying the way is just like into the door. Yeah. Oh, gosh. I thought Zoro was going to cut through that. Is he saving his swords for the main gate? Oh, wait, but it's like its own track. Maybe. Oh, he used it as a ramp. Genius. It's beautiful. <laughs> What do you mean that about the landing? You just land! Move it to what? Rocket Man? Elton John? <laughs> what else did they expect, man? Oh, bro. What do they crash right into the giant? I'm so glad Tilestone and Freddie Mercury are like a part of this and they're not corrupt. Polly included, but they weren't really in the forefront for a bit. Who is this? He stabbed Polly. Oh, these are the what are they called? The hound, the war dogs, watchdogs. Whoa! Wait, their designs are so cool. They're just riding on these wolves. Oh my gosh, the train! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! No, it's okay. You just give it time. <laughs> Here comes what's basically a bullet for the giant. Oh my god! Okay, that giant one billion percent just perishes. Wait, it dented it? It's still going? Oh wait, no, it's stopping. This is where it stops. Have any place. <laughs> oh my gosh, the end of Rocket Man's journey from Water 7 to here. Guess who's in there? Your worst nightmare. Oh, they're all just done so. I, I feel like the watchdogs are done so too. I don't know. <laughs> I love it. Shows Zoro's blade and then Sanji's leg. <laughs> the main players have arrived. Let's go! Oh, also, Soga King in Choppa. Does it just drop into like a pit? What's at the very bottom? Come on, Luffy, you're not cornered, bro. Punch your way through. It looks like a bottomless pit. Dude, there's so many. For Robin. We're in the way. There's a lot of people, but this... I don't know, not much to take down still. We're just, I mean, he need to be that other crowd. There's no reason for him to be cornered here, you know what I mean? Let's go, episode 268, let's get it. If this man actually falls instead of just running in through all of them... That thing? Did he come up with another gum gum move? Oh. oh, maybe they destroy that air? Oh. Come on, Luffy. Just grab on. Nah, he's just gonna be like right up against it. Pull yourself up, man. Pull yourself together. Are you gonna kick him in? Bro. <laughs> this way, this way. Oh my god, they're gonna collapse the entire like edge of the cliff. Lucky! Luffy, grab on this! All of those men just, just died. Just perished. These poor guys! Oh my god! <laughs> Don't shake! I can't. <laughs> the famous. <laughs> yeah, they don't even know your name, Sanji.
<laughs> yeah, but you don't. So <laughs> let the A-lister take care of this. Oh my god, they're just surrounded. Soga King. Oh my gosh, guys. Where's Nami? Nami was in the train? Yeah. I feel like she's already kind of like snuck away and she's got on her own little solo mission. Bro, the mask fell off. Is Chopper gonna realize it? <laughs> Bro, Chopper, you can't be serious, man. I expected this from Luffy. I probably should have from you too. I'm a senior, yeah, senior citizen and a child and an animal. Yeah, easy. Nice! Five head Kokoro. They're like, uh, you don't seem hostage. <laughs> These Marines, bro. How disgusting of them. Nami! She did set up her own plan. This is the perfect claim attack. What is she gonna do? Strike the entire area with lightning? I love how Kokoro, Chimney, and the rat, cat, rabbit, is just, they're all along for the ride. Yeah, she did that so much quicker. The last time she did this was against Miss Doublefinger, I think. Right? She didn't use it in Skypea. Oh my god, we've come a long way. How do you know who is gonna strike, Nami? She literally just murdered everybody. Probably not. It's metal! Damn, Nami, kind of apocalyptic, no? Then so why did you make it? How could you hurt Soga King, Nami? He, wow, Soga King knows so much about claim attack. Oh my gosh. Nami just power spiked like crazy. <laughs> I'm glad it didn't just like have plot armor and just strike exactly who she wanted. That wouldn't have made as much sense. Okay, Sanji. Yeah, Kokoro's been through way too much to die here. Luffy is so far ahead of you guys, it's absurd. I love how he's just so good king and, and everything. It's, it's still keeping up this persona. It's such a funny bit. I was gonna say, where were these guys? You gotta let him get away, bro. Dude, Luffy is like doing all the heavy lifting for everybody here. Like, actually. He's taking down everybody. Just making a clear path for everybody else to CP9 and the rest. I'm guessing that's why, like, he's doing that, or like, why it's having him do it like this, so that everybody else can just rush to meet up with him. I'm guessing. Oh, they're going after... Yeah, they gotta divert some forces to everybody else. <laughs> Bruh, he's unbeatable. Oh, they're the war dogs. That's what they're called, right? I, I I messed it up the first time. I see them kind of as cannon fodder to an extent. I don't know if I'm underestimating them, but that's how I see them. My chronic disease. It's cured now. <laughs> what happened? Oh, the war dogs. The wolves. You guys can't be that that big of trouble. Watch dogs. War dogs is cooler. Who wants to handle it? Doggy policemen. Some more marines? Are they surrounded? Oh my gosh. How many? Surrounded like Luffy was. They have their hands up. <laughs> oh, they didn't come all this way just to put their hands up. Zoro so chicken chad. Let's go, son of a Gamora! Hell yeah, Kelly loves here. Oh, they're just <laughs> evacuating them. Oh my god. Soga King is such a goofster, man. He's so much like Usopp. He missed! Wait, Soga King! True, yeah. They need to go all out trying to fight CP9. Good God, Kokoro. Do you stop ever? I'm glad they're all safe, at the very least. Go, 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 look at it! <laughs> How is it moving? Just dragging itself? Oh, oh. 
They're gonna fight for them. He said he doesn't want them to waste their energy here. Let's go, Galila Giga Chads. <laughs> <laughs> Don't come back to the shipyard. Imagine they like they walk up to CP9 and Zoro just goes, You guys are fired! And they're just like, Bro, what? Oh yeah, the watchdogs stand no chance. I'm sorry. They just don't. I'm not intimidated. Wait, what happened to that three-headed guy? I'm guessing he's gonna stand in their way at some point. Yeah, the shipwrights are built different, man. I'm glad at least some of them are good. They're all too cool to be evil. Meanwhile, Robin blew into town. Okay, so Aokiji did tell him. I'm not super surprised. I like Aokiji too, but I have to remember he's, he's not on our side. Dude. Give me. He wants it all, man. Uh, he said the government doesn't act hastily enough. Is that a fair question? Bruh. Hey, you would only get it, be able to get a sucker punch in because you're so weak. God, dude, he's just the worst. See, I feel like this just relates more and more and more to like things we don't know about Robin and, and how Usopp said that like I he, he felt like she's still hiding things from them. And I still get that feeling as well. But I'm surprised she asked him like why Aokiji would give Spandem that power because I, I obviously see it as just like a hierarchy. Like you kind of just listen to each other and help each other to take down the pirates. I mean, I'm, I'm as big of a fan as Aokiji as anybody else. Like I said, I thought he was really cool, but he's he's going to, I mean, the, the, the Navy, I'm guessing, runs thicker than water. Like he's he's going to just stick by his Navy friends and help them help each other catch the straw hats or at the very least give him a heads up to Nico, like where Nico Robin is, especially if Aokiji had known that Spandam was looking for Robin. But I mean, I feel like we're just going to get to this point where like two, two blockades hit each other because CP9 is insanely powerful. There's two random devil fruits that could be thrown into the mix. I don't think Luffy or any of our crew is strong enough to fight them. So I feel like it's going to have to be a lot more complicated than that. Maybe in terms of like, just like I said, trickery and whatnot, trying to best each other in fights. I mean, since they know each other's abilities now, I mean, maybe they can work around those six abilities and try to counter every single one. But aside from that, it, it's it's just, it's delivering like crazy. Guys, that's been it for episodes 267, 268 of our One Piece watch. So do drop us up on the channel if you are new and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace, peace.